So in this video, I'm going to talk about writing numbers in scientific notation and vice versa. So for example, we have this uh, following numbers and we're going to convert this into scientific notation. All right, so this is how you do it. So this will be equal to, so this is actually around um, 15 million, 800,000. So we'll convert it into scientific notation. So I will just copy it first and then we're going to put uh, the margin or decimal point because we are going to use that in moving uh, the decimal point because that's how scientific notation works. The purpose of scientific notation is to uh, lessen the number of zeros, especially for a very, very large number or very, very, very small numbers. Okay, so we're going to move the decimal point to the uh, up to the last um, non-zero number. So let's move the decimal point to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's only up to the uh, the last uh, non-zero digit, which is one. So it will be at the right side of one. So now we're going to remove uh, the zeros. So we will retain those uh, non-zero numbers, including those zeros which are in between non-zero. Let's say it's there is five zero eight. So we will not remove the zero eight because it's in between five and eight. But in this case, there's no zero in between. So um, we're going to put times ten. So this, that's how you write a standard number into a scientific notation. We're going to uh, put times 10 after moving the decimal point. And then to the power of how many times we move the, uh, the decimal point. So we move it 7 times, so it's times 10 to the power of 7. And that's it. That's uh, the scientific notation of the standard form 15,800,000. That's 1.58 times 10 to the power of 7. Now, if it's a very small number, say 0.00000679, and we want to convert it into scientific notation to avoid so much zeros. So this is how you do it. So let's copy it first. And then we um, color the decimal point into yellow to put emphasis to the decimal point because we are going to move that. All right, so we're going to move the decimal point up to the a first non-zero digit so meaning we're going to move the decimal point to the right up to the non-zero digit so the decimal point must be placed at the right side of a non first non-zero digit so one two three four five six Okay, so we move it six times, so we're going to move, remove the zeros now, and we're going to place the times 10. And since we move uh, six times, it will, it will be uh, times 10 to the power of 6, but it will be negative because we move to the opposite side. So instead of moving to the left, we, we move to the right. That's why it, the exponent is negative. So it's negative 6. So that's how you convert scientific notation for very, very, very small numbers. So next is we're going to um, do the opposite way from scientific notation. We're going to convert it into a standard form of a number. So we have the first one, 13.66 times 10 to the power of 8. So this is equal to, let's copy first the, uh, the scientific notation, 13.66. And we're going to move the decimal point to the right 8 times because it's times 10 to the power of 8. So let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so those spaces, every time there are no digits on those spaces that is being moved by the decimal point, we place a zero. And so 13.66 times 10 to the power of 8, which is a scientific notation, is equivalent to how much is this? This is around 1 billion 366 million, and that's it. Yeah, so it's 1 billion 366 million. 
So how about the bottom? It's 4.12 times 10 to the negative to the power of negative 5. So it's a negative exponent. That means this is a very small number. So let us convert it into standard form. So we have the 4.12 and then we are going to move the decimal point five times to the opposite side, to the left side. All right, so let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that is equal to 0 0.0000412. So that is the standard form of the given scientific notation. So that's how you convert scientific notation to standard form and vice versa. Thanks for watching and I hope you have learned from this video. Please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section.